guys, this is Jill by Perfusi Cross. Thank you for joining me. Um, I've had some requests to do this um, to a little tutorial on the dishcloth that I sent to Wanda and a few other people. So I thought I would show you a few things. Um, this is just the grandma's knitted dishcloth and it's done in garter stitch and it makes a very nice stretchy squishy great dishcloth now if you do this in a cotton uh, like peaches and cream or lily sugar and cream you can use that and you will get a little stiffer fabric fabric today i'm using the I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby and it's softer. Now I use this for both dishcloths and for washcloths, but I would recommend this yarn if you were going something a softer cotton to use as a washcloth because this can be both a dishcloth and a washcloth. Now this version is without the holes along the edges. And I just enjoy doing it this way. I also made this one, which is the same thing except done on the diagonal and in stockinette. Now the, the diagonal one just turned out a little bit uh, bigger than the other one. Uh, probably I just did more stitches, like just a few more stitches. But it's not really a big deal about uh, it being exactly square because any way that you pull it and stretch it and lay it out like you were blocking it is going to make it square and it's going to just do its own thing no matter what. So let's talk for a minute about what size needles. So generally I use um, a size 7 which is a, this one's warped, uh, 4.5 millimeter or US 7 knitting needle. And you can use the wooden ones, you can use the metal, and you can use circular. And this circular, I believe this is a 16 inch. So you want to leave a fairly good, yourself a fairly good tail, which I say is about five or six inches, which would be about there. Okay. But you also want to give yourself room for the stitches that you're going to put on the needle. Okay, well, how do we do that? So what I do, and I've shown this before, but I wrap it. So there's one, two, three, four. Put my pinch it right there. That's my four plus my five or six for the tail. Now I'm going to take it right there and make make my hoop. Put it on my needle. Now the long tail cast on, let me show it to you this way. I'm hoping you can see this. So you've got your tail and your working yarn. And you're going to put your finger in between the two. And then you're going to grab those with your other fingers down here. Then you're going to stick your thumb in between and split it open. Do the splits. Then you're going to lift that up and put your needle down towards you like that. So you get that V right there. Now you're going to take the tip of the needle and you're going to go on this side of that stitch that's coming off the thumb. You're going to go over here and scoop it up and bring it over here over that one, over that 
that one here. And you're going to go under it and scoop that up. That's your new stitch. Put your finger on that. Let go with your thumb. And pull that out with your thumb again. And that's your new stitch. I hope that's more clear. So finger goes in. Grab the yarn with your other fingers down there. Thumb goes in. Split it. Then bring it down. Go over here and scoop that one up. Bring it over that yarn that's on that side. And over this side. Bring the needle under it and scoop it up through the middle. You're just scooping that up. Now we have our three stitches. That's all we start with in that corner. And now we're going to knit all three of them. Now the way you knit is you take the other needle and you put it to the left, left side, through the back. Let's get our tail out of the way. This is our working yarn and this is our tail. Now I'm a thrower, so I throw that up and over and through the middle. See that goes right through the middle. I'll do that again. Come from the right, bring it around to the left side, and through the middle. Now that yarn is sitting right in the center. Now you're going to bring this yarn down, this needle down until that slips down in between. Bring the right needle and scoop that up. Push your needle up over the top and let that, let this right here come off of this needle because you've got a new one on this needle. So you've got a new one over here and you let that one off. Left side, through the back, bring the yarn around, right needle down and scoop that up, left needle out of it, and the new one is over here. And now you've knit those three stitches. Okay, now we're going to start increasing. So we're going to knit front and back. So you're going to put your needle in the left side through to the back. Make sure that tail is out of the way. Your working yarn should be over here. Bring it around. Knit this first stitch and take it off. The second stitch from now on we're going to go in, bring the yarn around, scoop that up, but we're not going to take that stitch off the needle. We're going to take this needle and put it back here. So kind of put it in the back, look back here and get the back of that stitch. So you're going to put the needle through the back stitch. Now we're going to put that yarn around. And then we're going to kind of lift that needle up to where we can see that little stitch hanging out in there and scoop it up. Now we let that off. Now we've made two stitches out of the one. Come from the left through to the back yarn around. You can see your yarn there. Scoop it out and take that one off. Now we're going to take our, our needle and we're going to swing the end of it back to here. We're going to bring the tail down like that and resituate ourselves. Okay. Pick up our other needle. And now we're back again going this way to that way again. Okay, so we're going to knit the first one, 
put the needle in through to the back, put it around. There's our new stitch, scoop it up and take it off. Now we're going to go into the left, put it through to the back, put it around. There's our new one, scoop it up, but don't take the stitch off. Swing that needle around to the back side and into the back of that stitch. Put the yarn through the center again. There is it. There is the new stitch. Scoop it out and now take it off. And now we're going to knit the other two. Swing that needle around, pull your tail down, resituate everything. Now you can see we're starting to get a corner. And so this is what I do, is I take my needle and I switch it over to here, and then I do that. I don't put my needle down. Some people put it in their mouth, some people put it under their arm. So knit the first one, and take it off. The second stitch we're going to do, knit through the front, bring the yarn around, don't take it off, put the needle around to the back side, and knit into the back. So that's knit front, and knit back, and then take it off, making two stitches out of one. There's a stitch. And through the left, through to the back, bring it around. There's your new stitch. Scoop it up and take it off. So you're going to have one more stitch every time. Okay, I've put some colored fabric behind us here, so maybe you can see a little bit better. So we're going to knit this first stitch, go to the left, put it through to the back, bring the yarn around and in the center, there's our new stitch, scoop it out, take it off. Now we're going to go into the front, knit the front stitch, swing around to the back, put our needle into the back of the stitch. That's also called knitting through the back loop. Bring the yarn around, lift up, there's our new stitch, scoop it out, and take it off. Knit front, knit back. I'm just going to kind of go slow here. And we're going to do this for about 40 stitches. 40 to 45 stitches. Turn it out. Resituate everything. This right here in the front always looks just a little bit loose, but it tightens back up every time. In, in from the left to the back. Pull it tight a little bit, bring that yarn around through the center, scoop it out, pull it off. Into the left, through to the back, yarn around, don't take it off, bring the needle to the back, go into the back loop. 
yarn around and now take it off. And I hope that you all can run this back, watch it again until you get what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to do. And you'll get to where you feel and it's different with each needle that you use, whether you're using wooden or uh, the metal ones or the circular needle. You'll get to where you can feel that stitch as it drops down, okay? And what I mean by that is when this yarn kind of slips down up against here, you'll feel that. Take it off. Second stitch is knit front and back. That's the knit front. it back and off. So we're going to just keep going until we get to 45 stitches. So the way you know is to count the stitches on the top of the needle. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at nine stitches. When you get 45 stitches on your needle, you'll be at the halfway point. And I will meet you back. I'll go across one more row and then we'll and then I'll let you guys. And you know what? Just do this over and over again. And just keep trying and figure out your own way of holding the needle and all of that stuff because you will find your own way. There's some people that hold their yarn up here around their pinky and up here and then they flick it around and then the other way to hold it is on the other side over that finger on this side and scoop it up and through that's another way to do it And that's continental. Now I'm left handed, but I don't knit continental. I knit right handed. I keep my yarn on the right side and I work from the right to the left. And so that's just the way it's comfortable to me. So we knit the first one, knit through the front, bring that needle around to the back, knit through the back loop, and off. That's how I usually turn. Okay, guys, now I want to show you how we're going to decrease. We have gone to 45 stitches. 
across, which is basically the bottom half of our washcloth. Now we're going to do the decrease. And this is the way I like to do it. Again, knitting the first stitch. Then I knit two together. And I'll show you this again. And continue across. You will begin to see it pull in on one side and it's going to go across and then it's going to meet the other side. You'll see what I mean. Okay, again, we're going to knit the first stitch. Then we're going to knit two. It's the same as knitting one. Same as that. Instead of going in here, go over one more to the second one and go through both of them. Okay. Put the yarn around, bring it through, and take both of them off. That's knit two together. And I've reached the other side again. Let's show you this again, how to do two together. So every end, when we start, we're going to knit the first one, go to that second stitch right there, go through both of them, yarn goes in the middle, there it is right there, and pull them both off. And that's knit two together. And you will do this until you get down to three stitches. So I will see you back. I'm going to keep knitting for a little bit just to kind of give you some more uh, seeing how I do my knitting. And I'll just put some music here for a minute or two. Okay, we are now down to our last five stitches. This is what it should look like. It always kind of pulls because you have the weight of it hanging from there, but it straightens out, so don't worry about that. So here's how we're going to do the last few stitches. 
So again, we're going to knit one. Knit two together. One, two. And knit those last two. That's three. And that's four. Okay, now we're going to turn. Now we're down to four. We're going to knit the first one. Knit two together. And knit the last one. Give a little tug. I always give a little tug on that last stitch. If I haven't said that yet. Now we're down to our last three. Which is what I told you to get to your last three. Now we're going to do what we call casting off. So we're going to knit one. This is casting the stitches off. Knit the first one. Knit the second one. Now you've got both those on this needle. You're going to take your needle and put it, slide it under that first one over here. So you're going to come from the left side over here and just slide it under it. Lift up a little, pull it up and over that other one. We're going to go down to the end down here. There's the other one. And it now went inside that first one. And you cast off one stitch and we're going to do that again with the last stitch go on the left side here we're going to knit it now we have two stitches over here again pick up the first one or the one that's closest to you lift it up a little pull it up and over and bring that second one through that and that is casting off. Now what I like to do here is I like to create a little bit of a so I like to create a little bit of a ring on the end so I take my crochet hook and I do about 10 chains Let's see, that's eight, and that's plenty. Cut, cut that, pull it through, and then we weave that in down here to finish. So again, I'm going to go in the side, pull that down there, go back through, make sure that that's, and then I like to come around that ring around the back side of it and through the back again. That kind of holds that in place a little bit. back through then I'm going to take that and just cinch it see because it kind of pulls up right there so to cinch it I'm going to come back in to the bottom of that stitch of the of the loop there come into it come over here 
and go through that, make a little knot to hold it in place. Pull it good and tight. That way it doesn't pull up on you there. And then we're just going to hide that. And I still have to hide this other one. I hope this has been fun for you guys to follow along. I didn't want this to be real technical. I just wanted it to be nice and easy, just sitting here, you and I as friends, making a dishcloth. That's all I wanted to do. So I hope that that's what you got out of it. If you have any questions, there's lots of tutorials about this. Sometimes if the first one you watch doesn't tell you everything that you need to know, you might have to go and watch another one. And that is perfectly A-OK. -okay. That's why there's lots of tutorials, because you get a little something out of one, and then you get a little something out of another, and that's just how we learn. But I hope you got enough out of this one that you will find yourself making more and more of these because these actually are very therapeutic for me. This is kind of like when I'm not sure what else I want to make, I will make these. So I'll be get back with you um, soon and show you how to make that other one. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, for hitting that like button. Uh, I've got another tutorial coming out here pretty soon, and I'll see you then. Take care, everybody, and have fun today.